Hello friends, Iceberg out of Dylan Brothers Harley Davidson. Today I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of this 2011 Harley Davidson Soft Tail Blackline. Alright friends, well we have some stuff to talk about. Uh, I am a big fan of the Black Line. This had a very limited run. It was only for two years, 2011 and 2012. Uh, I'm not really sure why Harley decided to discontinue this bike so quickly. I, as I said, am a fan of this motorcycle. It's basically the soft tail wide glide, if you will. Uh, you don't have so much rake up front, but it definitely seems to be kind of, if I had to pick like a hybrid of two Harleys, I would say it's kind of a combination of the deuce and the wide glide. Um, you know, but I, as I said, I'm not really entirely sure why Harley Owen had such a short time on these bikes, but that's the way that it is. So technically, this is kind of a rare bike to get in. We do not see a lot of black lines in on trade, so I am excited that this one is on our floor. Uh, we are going to go ahead and start with the engine on this motorcycle, where you have the 96 cubic inch air-cooled V-twin engine. Uh, very nice engine on this bike. This is a lightweight motorcycle, just comes in over 650 pounds. So uh, having that 96 cubic inch is going to give you all the power that you want. Nice staple on this motorcycle, moving up front, where you have that beautiful 21-inch all-spoked wheel on there. Huge fan of that, love spokes on motorcycles. I think it really gives it that classic, traditional motorcycle look. Uh, we're gonna go back and move down from the engine. As you can see, everything's chromed out. That nice, large, circular chrome uh, intake cover. And then moving down where you do have the Vance & Hines slip-on exhaust on here as well. I am gonna take the opportunity right now to fire this black line up so you can hear that Vance & Hines. Those Vance and Hines slip-ons sound fantastic on this motorcycle. Let's go ahead and move up and talk about where you are going to spend all your time on this black line. We have this very nice, large, two-up touring Harley-Davidson seat. This is going to give the rider plenty of room to kind of wiggle around, find the sweet spot. You do get some nice lower back support on here as well. Your passenger is going to be very happy because it has a very nice, large passenger pad on here. Very comfortable. And then you do also have the quick detach backrest with nice gloss black luggage rack. All right, speaking of passengers, if your passenger is anything like mine, you either are going to be packing a bunch of stuff or you are going to be bringing a bunch of stuff home with you. So having these very nice leather saddlebags on this motorcycle is a great addition. You are going to be able to pack these full with all your stuff. Uh, one downfall, just so you do know, these are not locking saddlebags, so I wouldn't leave anything valuable sitting in there walking away from your motorcycle for too long, but it is nice to have the option to be able to throw a bunch of stuff in them. As this black line sits on our floor, survey says it has 23,873 miles on it. Uh, if you're looking for a rare Harley Davidson to add to your garage, something that has some nice tradition and is cool. And once again, one thing I didn't touch on is that traditional orange and black paint job that comes on this motorcycle. Really love that. Definitely screams Harley Davidson all day long. But if you are looking for something different that not everyone has and you definitely will be noticed going down the road, this black line is definitely for you, and if you are local in Omaha, Nebraska, would like to see this motorcycle up close and in person, please stop out at Dylan Brothers Harley-Davidson today, come throw a leg over it, talk to any of our sales staff, they are all happy to help you out. And as always, from the entire Dylan Brothers Harley-Davidson family, thank you so much for checking out our videos, and always remember, gear up, ride safe. Thanks a lot.